Hello my loves. Welcome to God Bless Freemasonry, and this is episode 2. And for the second episode, I'd like to actually take a moment and uh, scratch my nose. <laughs> uh, say namaste, shout out to all of you, God Bless Freemasonry, yeah, oh, I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening. And I'd like to read to you a poem that I've just done, and um, I actually think it's pretty sweet. It's the Trowel's Tao. It's poetry in motion. I hope you like it. Yin, with its own separate state of knowledge, contains that of death and stillness. The female aspects of moon, with its cold, soft, dark, passive submissions, lies a weakness with hate, its negativity and severity. The gang of life's movement in male process and presence of the sun, which is hot. In its heart and light, completely aggressive and dominant, is strong with a mercy for an affirmative love. In philosophical approach, yin, yang, two opposing forces independently of their own rights, Along their paths, joined together in a sacred bond, giving rise to a whole new dimension of harmonious enlightenment. <laughs> These are the glorious attributes of man. And when brought together with another opposing life form under the canopy of heaven, great things are instantaneous to the naked eye of that fellow man who is privy to witness. The trowel is an instrument made use of by operative masons to spread the cement which unites the grand temple into one common mass. But we as free and accepted masons are taught to make use of it for the no more noble and glorious purposes of spreading the cement of brotherly love and affection which unites us into one sacred band, a society of brothers among whom no contention should ever exist but that of the most noble of contention and emulation for whom can best work and agree to co-create at its finest level like a well-oiled machine in the hands of time. Like that of man and God, earth and spirit, two brothers amongst men brought together in unity by the ties that bind in bliss of fraternity, a unison complete, like that of no other. This is the sacred trowel. The trowel is one of my absolute favorite working tools of Freemasonry, in which indeed can be summed up in just one single word. Namaste. I really hope you enjoy this poem. It is of the working tools of Freemasonry. And I would like to have this as my introduction to various videos to come on the working tools of Freemasonry. Because after all, God bless Freemasonry. I mean, I just simply could not have a video series without doing some special little tidbits on our working tools and everything to educate you, the people out there, that know not what you do when it comes to all your various little slams and, and questions that seem to have no question mark. <laughs> we get that a lot in masonry. And it's quite all right. Like I had said, and many times before on the internet, all over the place. You know, if you really have a question, you need to sit and think and meditate. Come together with your words. Write them down first. It'll make you sound much better. And all of those little attacks, they won't come off as slam. They'll actually come off as a question mark. And we'll be able to answer you much more efficiently and effectively and quickly. For all of you out there that are against the Freemasons, 
and myself because I love my brothers. I'm a proud Freemason. I hope all of you are having an absolutely glorious moment right now. I hope you've learned something. When it comes to the trowel, and there goes my uh, smoke detector. I still didn't get a battery. <laughs> my bad. Mm -hmm. It's all right. You know, I mean, if the house is going to burn down. It's going to burn down. May I rest in peace until you get there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, when it comes to the, the working tools of Freemasonry. Now, the Masons of long ago... You know, those that actually build stone temples. Um, you use these working tools for actually construction of a building, a, a grand temple, or any other building really. But I just, I, I'm just going to say a grand temple, because why not have a grand temple if you're going to have a temple? <laughs> you know, if you're going to build a building, I mean, why not build a temple versus, you know, a little brick outhouse? just works out better that way, don't you think? I mean, let's rise it up a little bit here. So, um... These tools, the working tools of Freemasonry, and I was speaking to my coach today and talking to him a little bit more about this. He had yet to see my, the first video in the series, the introduction of it all. And, you know, I was talking to him about you know, little things that I can do to really pull this together, because I've been talking about this for months and months, you know, and just really not sure how I wanted to bring it all about, and I knew I wanted to pose various questions and so on, and um, pull little pearls of wisdom to really help with my brothers, and, you know, give people a source online that, you know, all of the people out there that are the naysayers can, you know, actually view and get a proper understanding of what it is that we are about. <laughs> the working tools, they mean a lot to us. We use them, like I said, for the more noble and glorious purposes. Um, for not only spreading the cement of brotherly love when it comes to a trowel, but we actually use them as metaphors and so on to construct a better temple within our minds, to become better persons, to walk the face of the earth. Now, there are some of the things that I cannot teach you, and for that, you would, in fact, need to become a Freemason yourself, and you would learn them yourself. But I, I am allowed to teach you some things, and these things that I would like to, you know, shed light upon, um, gotta love the light, you know. I would like to really help you understand why a Freemason is actually online or in person in front of you saying things such as, I am a proud Freemason. The working tools mean the world to me. You may have something as simple as, you know, a common gavel. It means nothing. But yet to a Mason, it's everything. A mere trowel being one of my absolute favorite of the working tools. And there's many working tools and I am just in love with them. Deeply in love with what I am learning from these. In relation to myself. As a human being that walks the earth. <laughs> the trowel is something you learn about in the third degree but I don't actually believe you learn your trowel as your you know your working tool of the third degree I believe it is actually the first working tool that you ever encounter 
in Freemasonry. Because when you walk in through the doors, you're instantly met by a bunch of men that are walking the same path. And we are there to meet you and greet you and educate you into the ways of Freemasonry. Now, I've only been a Freemason for the last several years. You know, this is my third year as being a Master Mason. I'm very, very proud of all that I've learned. And I really hope that with this series and learning about the various aspects of Freemasonry and different things when it comes to enlightenment within itself, I really hope that all the naysayers, the people that are just so dead set against Freemasonry, will actually learn enough that maybe you just won't instantly attack those of us out there doing our charitable deeds. I wouldn't go around attacking you if you were to go amongst your life doing what you do for charity. So I hope you've enjoyed this poem. It's simple. It includes one of the working tools. Like I said, you learn it in the third degree, of which I think it's the, the very first tool that you actually ever encounter. Reason being is, you know, it's cementing the brotherly love. You are met by Freemasons when you walk through the door of the grand temples that we call a, a Masonic Lodge. And you were met by these men dedicating themselves to the greater good of mankind. And if you're coming to us, we're not going to be mean. We're going to take you under our wing and show you the way on your own spiritual path of enlightenment in hopes that you as well can become a much more glorious human being that we already see within you. That's why I believe the trowel is the first tool that you'll ever encounter within Freemasonry because you don't even need to be a Freemason and you are already experiencing the handicraftsmanship. <laughs> I mean, a trowel is glorious. I actually need to do a lot of tattoo work while I'm here. And, um, and I've been really thinking about doing some trowel work on me. You know, not just having a square and compass, which means the world to me. It's a universal symbol. But a trowel, man, that's the way I want to walk through life. In the form of namaste, a trowel. I'd like to cement my brotherly love and friendship all throughout the land. I will not meet you with resistance if you come at me with peace, love, and harmony within you. So I'm going to do various working tools. I'm not sure if they're all going to be poetry in motion. But I do hope you learn something from them. And if you're someone out there that can honestly say Freemasonry is, is in a negative wording, whichever wording you'd like to use, that's all right. We really don't mind. We're going to keep doing as we do. And we will meet you with that brotherly love. And we will cement that. From ourselves within you. Namaste, beautiful ones. 
I love you so much. I am a proud Freemason. And with this series, it is my absolute truth to you. I hope to make my brothers proud of this series. I hope to educate all of you out there that are really against masonry enough that maybe you'll have a better understanding. And if not, I tried. And that's all you can really do in life is just try. That's what I am doing right now. All of you out there, you mean the world to me. You're my blessed, beautiful babies. Welcome to the world of Freemasonry. I am proud. Till the day I die, I will be a Freemason within my heart. For I've been a Freemason all along, long before I ever knew what Masonry was. if I can actually take some of you out there, educate you enough to where you yourselves would like to walk the path of a Masonic life. Walk on your own Masonic journey. It'll be my honor and pleasure to refer to you as a brother. <coughs> now with me and with many of you out there, you may have had a little bit of a rough life. But these are men, and I call them glorious, beautiful men. I just love my boys. You'll see. Just keep watching, my loves. Please. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I could use all the subscribers and all the views on these videos I can get. Share them with your friends. Watch them over and over if you wish. I'd love it. Every minute of it. And if any of you out there are art majors like I grew up as well. And you'd actually like to draw me a glorious trowel for Freemasonry. I would actually consider using that trowel with your blessing as the trowel I place on my body in my skin for the rest of my life. To all the brothers of Freemasonry that may ever watch this video or that don't, Dude, I love you so much. Now, there's no strangers within Freemasonry. Only brothers you have yet to meet. We are a family. We have a bond. And we are bound to our fraternity and to our brothers. We will be there for each other. More so than you will ever find in your life, in your crappy little existence, with all your soul-to-speak friends. And that's as, as politely as I can possibly put it. For you cannot tell me that you as a non-Mason have the greatest friends on the planet that you'll ever receive. And that you do not understand having a friend that isn't really quite yet a friend or that didn't diss you out or whatever. But if you come to Freemasonry, you won't have that sort of thing. We pride ourselves on being better to our brothers than the crap you'll find outside. And that's something I'll take to my grave with high respects and I honor and cherish. Bless you all. 
And if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. If there's anything you'd like to see within this series, please let me know. Namaste. I am that I am. Your glorious host.